Hi, I'm Dan Hernandez. I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of Sport Fishing. Well, today we're fishing aboard the Freelance. We're going to be fishing for sand bass, and if the fish show up, we're going to switch over and look for some barracuda. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. Welcome to Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez. This week's episode of Sport Fishing is brought to you by Cabela's, America's foremost outfitter. By Shakespeare, manufacturers of the Dan Hernandez signature fishing rods. By Game Saver, the best way to preserve your fish is with Game Saver. By Penn, America's leading reel manufacturer. Welcome back. We're still out here at the same spot. The fishing's pretty wide open. It doesn't get much better than this. It's uh, middle of July, and the barracuda are way up on the surface, and they're just attacking all the chum. So I'm using a Magic Metal Light jig, and this had a lot of blue paint on it. It's all been eaten off by these fish. I'm using braided line. This is the Ugly Braid, and this is the Ugly Stick Custom Dan Hernandez Signature Rod. I use this a lot for calico bass and stuff. And then we have a Penn International 975 reel on there. And all I'm gonna do is throw, throw this right up on the surface. I'm not gonna let the jig fall very much because the fish are way up high. And I'm just gonna grind it back in. So just cast it out. Let the lure hit the water out there. And then just start winding.
job, buddy. Okay, this is Calvin. He's out here with his grandpa. You haven't caught a barracuda yet, right? No. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw this big old jig. I'm going to work it right on the surface. My fish is going to come eat it, all right? So let's see if we can get one. Now the pressure's on. I've caught several, but now I've got to get one for Calvin. Okay, so I'm going to wind it out there. Yeah, let me just, let me just hook it for you first. I'm just going to wind it in really fast. Ooh, just got bit. There he is. Ooh, another strike. Got two hits that time. There's one. There's one. All right. Here we go. Ready, Calvin? Here you go. There you go. Put the arm. Put the rod into your arm. There you go. Just like that. You're a pro. There you go. Just like that. There you go. Just turn the handle. Turn the handle. Good job, Calvin. Just do it. Turn it, turn the handle, come on, come on, you can do it. There you go. Oh, it's a big barracuda. Big barracuda. Big one. Okay, 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 stop, 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 stop. Let me bounce him up. We got some. We got All right, Calvin. There you go, there you go, Cal. Get in there with your fish. Okay, no, don't turn the handle anymore. Hold the gap for him. Uh, a picture of it. Okay, hold the rod. Hold the rod. This is Calvin. He just caught this fish. Well, I hooked it for him. He wounded it in. He did all the work. Magic no light. You like that one? Was that fun? Here, touch your fish. <laughs> all right. Give me five. Tell everybody, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Really loud. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. All right, <laughs> nice fish. Perfect. Okay, just working that metal, that, just working the magic light jig right up on the surface, magic metal light. There's a barracuda. You couldn't pass it up. Nice legal barracuda. This is where we're using magic metal light. That's a legal fish. You got all three hooks in them. Then you're gonna go ahead and release this guy real quick. Let's grab the hook. Twist it over. There he goes. Here's the jig that we're using. It's a magic metal light. And the rod I'm using is a brand new. This is the Ugly Stick Custom Rod Dan Hernandez series, my own series of rods. Find your local stores. And using the Penn International 975. And this, this outfit works out really good for fishing these type of barracudas. The Freelance Skipper House is on a really great spot here, right in front of the San Nofri power plant. There's barracuda, there's sand bass on the bottom. It doesn't get much better than this. And again, using the magic metal light. Well, let's take a little break from the action, visit the tackle box, and give you a really good in-depth look at the tackle we're using for today's type of fishing. This week, the tackle box is brought to you by Cabela's. America's foremost outfit. This week in the Tackle Box, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today. We're targeting barracuda, and today the barracuda are hanging up right up on the surface, so we're able to attack them with light surface jigs. Now, my favorite jig to use when the barracuda are up on top is an MM7. It's a magic metal jig made with poly material, and it's got rattles in it. And what's really nice about this, you cast it out as far as you can, you want to use light line, say 15, 20 pound test line. And as the jig falls, you let it sink a little bit and then you wind it in slowly. That slowly is the key. You don't want to grind it in really fast, nice and slow. Let that jig kick from side to side, swim side to side, and those rattles will move around in there and it'll really drive the fish crazy. Barracuda love these jigs. Now when you get bit on these, what you want to do is just leave the reel in gear and keep grinding. You don't want to set the hook, you don't want to put any slack in your line because the fish will just throw out the jig. So remember, that's the big tip on these. Work the jig slow and once the fish hits it, just wind the fish straight into the boat. You don't have to set the hook or anything. The fish will hold right onto that. Now if the fish are a little bit picky, you can go with a smaller size. This is an MM5 
It's just in case it bites a little bit slower, but these bigger Barracuda, the MM7 works great. And as you go look for these in your store, this is what they look like in the packaging. You can also find out more information about these on our website. Now another great way to catch Barracuda is when they start attacking the live bait. But with live bait, you have to be really picky about the hooks you use. You don't want to use a regular J hook because the fish will swallow your bait and when you drive the hook in the fish, the hook will be kind of deep in the fish and it will give the fish opportunity to eat right through your monofilament. What you want to do is use a circle hook. And the way a circle hook is designed is when you hook the fish, the fish will get hooked in the corner of the jaw and right where the eye is where you connect your line to the hook, that will be outside the fish's mouth. So you never have to worry about the line getting cut off. So circle hook is a big key to using live bait for barracuda. Now there's lots of circle hooks out there in the market. What I like is the 702 model, laser sharp, made by Eagle Claw. This particular hook here is just way too big. I just wanted you to see what a circle hook looks like. But the size you'd want to use would be a size 4 or a size 2. Well, this is all you need for barracuda fishing. The really simple fish to catch, lots of fun, so get on the water and do it. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Got another one on the jig. He's way out there. Got another one on the jig, just working, working that magic metal light, throwing it right in the corner where the crew's throwing all the chump. This is a big fish. This is a nice barracuda. Nice big barracuda. Oh man, I don't know if I can get this one up. Yep. That's a nice one. Big barracuda. This is what we're trying to catch. Monster sized barracuda. And this is what we're using. This is a brand new Dan Hernandez signature series rod by Shakespeare. An ugly stick custom rod. Magic metal light jig. Just a big, beautiful fish. All right. Well, let's just take a little break from the action and go to the galley and show you how to cook up a barracuda like this. This week, the galley is brought to you by Dan Hernandez dipping sauces and fish batters. Look for them in your local supermarket. This week in the galley, I want to show you how to cook up some barracuda. We're still aboard the Freelance. People are still catching fish up on the rails. Fish are biting great today. And yeah, standing next to me is Chris. He's one of the crew members, and he's going to cook up some fish for us. And explain to us how you cook up your barracuda, Chris. Because barracuda gets a bad name, so you really you got to cook it the right way. What you want to do is you want to, when you fillet it, you want to make sure that you get everything cleaned up, get the, the red meat mostly out, 
Because the red meat on the fish is what's gonna, see that, like this? Mm -hmm. That's what's gonna give it the harsh taste, the, the real oily taste. But a little bit won't hurt anything. Okay. It's important that you, you wash your fish in fresh water, then what you wanna do is pat it off and put it in the refrigerator for a few minutes to let it firm back up. Then you wanna put it into an egg bath. That's what this is here? Yeah, this is nothing but just regular eggs. And you just get it all in there and get it covered real well. And just put it into the bread crumbs here. A fish like barracuda, sand bass, people talk about may not be the most delicious fish. But if you get it fresh and it's not, you can't get it any fresher than what we got here. This fish was just caught about an hour ago. Any fresh fish will taste delicious. And that's what Chris wants to demonstrate today that uh, a fish like barracuda gets a bad rap. It's really a great eating fish, especially guys that are out in the water like today. They take this home, they eat it today, eat it tomorrow. I mean, you can't really cook it wrong. This is just a nice eating no, fish to do. Yeah, if you get it filleted on the boat, and when you get it home, make sure, you know, even if you don't want to cook it when you get home, just wash it off and put it in, you know, put it in a, into the refrigerator and it'll, it'll be just fine. Okay, once you got it all covered up, you want to use margarine. You don't want to use butter. Butter will burn. So you just use margarine. And give it a good good helping of margarine. So it on the grill. Yeah. Yeah, if I use butter, I'll use the olive oil. Huh? Yeah, yeah. But the, the nice thing about it out here, you know, if we're cooking it on the boat with our limited means, at home you could cook this fish and make it taste like anything you want, you know? And if we're just cooking it out here on a on a grill with what we have and making it taste good. Right, you do it at home. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we just throw the fish on there? Yeah, then just throw the fish in there. So how long are we gonna cook this up for? Just probably about usually about a couple of minutes on each side and it, it's good. You just wanna go until you, the breadcrumbs are are crisp. By then now, Chris? Yeah, this is done. Got a piece. This looks great. Yeah, you just want want to cook it until it's got that flaky white. And that that means it's perfectly done. That is good. Now that's the way it's supposed to be done. Thanks a lot, Chris. Thank you. Now, if you want to have a barracuda like this, the whole key is to catch your own barracuda. Get them nice and fresh. If you buy it at the store, it's already frozen. It's not going to taste nearly as good as this is. And if you want to have it cooked up for you on the boat, just ask Chris, one of the crew members that are on here on the boat, or the freelance would be glad to do it for you. Well, let's get back up on the deck here for the freelance to show you more exciting action right here on Sports Fish. Got another one here. Fishing here is just so good. Another nice big fish. Okay, I'm gonna bounce this guy up. This is a big fish. Okay, I'm gonna go straight back. Another big one. This week's tip of the week is brought to you by Shakespeare, manufacturing the Dan Hernandez signature line of fishing rods.
For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we did today with the freelance catching the barracuda. Now the early bite was strictly live bait, fishing sardines, and circle hooks were the big key there. The circle hook, your line didn't get cut off, you're able to land those fish. But once the fish got really active, it was all about using artificials. This is the Magic Metal Light. It's got rattles in it. It's a poly material jig, so you can throw it with light rods, light line, and it works good. Now the big trick to this is you don't want to wind it in really fast. You want that jig to dart and kick back and forth nice and slow and let the rattles in the jig work. And if you're looking for it in the store, your local tackle store, this is what it looks like in the packaging. It's called Magic Metal Light. The model I used today was the MM7. You can find any local tackle store or you can visit our website. We have them there too. Well, we had a great time on the water today. I'd really like to thank everybody aboard the Freelance. We had Chris on the deck our Captain Damon, and the girl in the galley, she was just wonderful. Everybody had a great time. We had plenty of fish. Got, not only did we catch those sand bass early, but the phenomenal bite we had today on the Barracuda. It was just awesome. Again, we caught them on live baits, artificials, magic metal lights. It was just awesome. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you did enjoy this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.